Okay, so while I'm waiting on some stock to show up for the rear mounting plate, I'm going to go ahead and start on the uh, front saddle block here. And this is going to accomplish several different purposes. I've just got a one inch square piece of aluminum here, and it is slightly wider than the saddle. And again, one inch by one inch. And we're going to mark this to mount it to these three holes, which I currently have set screws in. This is going to end up being probably our way cover holder. It's going to give us x-axis lock to replace the factory x-axis lock. The main reason we're replacing it is to raise it up so that we can get to it with the way covers in place. And as part of the build, we're going to be replacing the oiler. This is optional. I mean, you could notch around it or do some different things, but I thought might as well just replace the entire block and try to get rid of some of this kind of chip collecting area here. So first step is to remove everything that's going to be in the way here. Then in place of the set screws, I'm going to put some transfer screws. And don't forget to put one in the oiler hole because we'll need to locate that for drilling. Okay, so I've moved the table forward and I'm basically clamping the part between the table and my CNC motor housing using a parallel as a spacer. And I've roughly centered it left to right on the saddle. And this will give me uh, a good, nice hold while I tap it with my hammer to get those transfer marks. So you may have to adjust the height of your set screws, um, but you can put it back on there and register and then give it another tap on the existing marks, and as long as we get three mark, or sorry, four marks as we have here, we can then use uh, another punch to enlarge those a little bit and make them clearer. So I drilled all four holes with a number seven bit, and I've deburred them. Uh, the one for the oiler, I didn't go all the way through on because I'm not entirely positive what I'm, how I'm gonna set that up yet. I've got a couple of ideas, but I wanna get this sized and roughed out first. So then I've raised up the transfer screws um, so that the threads are exposed to simulate an actual screw going through. And the fit is good, so that's a positive sign. Okay, now we'd clamp this previously along the back, so um, our rear side here is it would rub if we try to move our x-axis. So we'll take about five thousandths or so off of that, it's, it's up to you how much you wanna take off. Enough so that you're not gonna get any rubbing, but I'm gonna to try to minimize the amount of chips that will fall down in there. But first, we can thickness the, the piece so it's height. Scribe a line on the back there. I'm gonna scribe lines on the bottom front. And then scribe some lines on either end. These dimensions aren't critical. We'll end up probably making it slightly undersized. So I've got the top of the piece surfaced and I'm going to end up taking probably a 16th or so off the bottom, but I'll have to do that as my one of my later cuts because my layout marks are still on the bottom. Um, I suppose I could remake them, but it's just easier to do that last. And the reason I'm going to take it down another 16th or maybe 330 seconds is I have some rubber to do the way covers with and that's I believe 1 32nd of an inch thick so I'm going to double check that and I'm simply going to place that down on here and then this will one of its many functions is it will act as a clamping block to hold that in place. So I've got the block rough cut to size here and I've put a notch in for reading measurements. Um, I haven't put a scribe mark in there yet, but. So counterboards are in place and looking good. Okay, for the oil well, I just use the um, existing cap, which conveniently has a hole on it and I placed it near the corner where I thought I wanted the oil well to be and just used a center punch to mark it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drill and bore it out 
So for the oil well, I was originally going to try to match the factory size and just use the factory cap, um, but it seems to be a little bit of an odd size. I thought it might be, just be easier to make a new cap uh, to match whatever threads I put in it. Now I'm going to go with a little bit sm smaller thread size. The closest I can tell from the factory, I haven't measured it exactly, but just from diameter, it appears to be a 7 sixteenths, around a 28 as, as far as the minor diameter goes. I didn't actually measure the uh, thread pitch, but I'm just going to do a 3 8 16, which uses uh, a 5 16 inch tap drill. Since I don't have any good quality lettered bits, um, otherwise I would probably go a little bit larger. And I also don't have a 25 64 bit, so I can't do a 7 16 20. <laughs> Here I'm just roughing out a notch on the front face for the x-axis lock. And now just cleaning up the slot after the roughing cutter. Okay, so here roughing out a notch on the bottom of the workpiece for the other leg of the x-axis lock. Okay, so I've got the slots cut for the x-axis lock. So this will be an L-shaped block. We'll put a threaded hole here to pull the block in. And then on the bottom, it will put clamping force. I've left the lower notch a little bit narrower. I just think it'll look better to uh, have a nice even all the way down. We won't see any light in behind here uh, because of that offset. Then I'll mill the, I'll drill and counter bore the holes for the locking mechanism once I have the block made. And I think I'm gonna make the block out of brass just for contrast. And then the other section that we've got mostly complete is the oil well. And you can see that we intersected the hole on the bottom there as well. So we'll end up um, enlarging this and tapping it as well. And I'm going to tap it 3 8 16. Just have to find the uh, my tap wrench to fit the 3 8 inch tap. But that part is mostly complete. Just need to do some cleanup. We'll put the block in there. And then once the block is in there, I'll probably end up lowering some of these other surfaces and, and just making the part look a little bit nicer.